Uh, wind is very low, no more than uh, 5 to 10 knots with uh, clear skies. Over. The Mawson's Huts Foundation was established in 1997 as a not-for-profit charity to work in partnership with the Australian Antarctic Division to carry out the conservation work uh, on these wonderful buildings uh, which were the main base for two years of the 1911-14 Australasian Antarctic Expedition led by Douglas Mawson. We have reclaimed the roofs of both the huts and no further ice uh, or snow is, is coming into the building and now with that secure uh, we're able to concentrate on the interior. Right, at the moment uh, just excavating uh, a lot of ice and snow from the interior of the huts and for me it's, uh, it's really a fantastic thing to be involved in. It's a great team of people but over the years major problems have been snow and ice getting into the building and then just the build-up in here that's causing conservation problems for all the artefacts and the structures. I was part of a team that was able to re-roof the building and stop it getting in and now to be part of a team that can actually remove most of this, expose the spaces and reveal the building pretty much as it was when Mawson left is going to be bloody wonderful. People interested in wildlife, there is abundance uh, of penguins down there. There's uh, two colonies of uh, a, a daily penguins, uh, one of the smallest of the uh, 13 species. But there are other species which also visit the area, and uh, elephant seals and leopard seals are very frequent. Chima Adventures uh, are now the Foundation's principal sponsors, uh, and it's because of their support that we've been able to um, complete the construction uh, of a full-scale replica of Mawson's Huts in Hobart. And we have a range of other projects uh, which uh, Chima Adventures are actively uh, supporting and sponsoring. Without this, uh, their support, uh, our projects uh, would not be able to get off the ground.